Okay, I want to just show you here some aspen. Here we have a light breeze. These aspen trees and these leaves are kind of a dead giveaway. They're quite small, you know, they're sort of small size of a loony or a bit bigger than a quarter. And even in a light breeze like we have outside today, they'll generally be the first kind of leaves to, to tremble. And that's where they get some of that nink, trembling aspen or populus tremoloides and in Latin. And just a little bit of breeze and they're starting to tremble. They're also actually lots of bugs like them so you know here's an example of some worms that were eating these so sometimes you'll see them later in the summertime or early in the fall and all the leaves which are relatively easy to digest for insects will get eaten up and uh, sometimes uh, big uh, worms will come through like uh, and take everything off and they'll defoliate all the trees but in general they'll attack one or two trees so you'll see a group or a clump also called a clone or a copse, are all these groups of aspen. And say they often, trembling aspen, grow together in a group all to, uh, compared to just one. And here we have just again, the little leaves trembling. Small leaves, and we'll take this, take one off and we'll compare it to some of the other commonly maybe mistaken trees that you can also find across Canada. Okay, so there's many other uh, populous species that you might find in Canada. We're looking for populous tremoloides or trembling aspen, uh, also sometimes called a white poplar. Uh, it's a common name, um, uh, or just aspen very often. But there's many other in the populous species across Canada. The big tooth, for example, big tooth poplar are in the Maritimes and across maybe Ontario, Quebec. Uh, many depending on where you're going in BC but the most common is the trembling aspen and the trembling aspens are usually very small leaves and all the leaves usually have little barbs on them but here we have a different populous species much more larger leaved and uh, this is a balsam poplar is also very common but when you take a leaf off of a balsam you know they're considerably different the trembling aspen is really quite small and they can much more pronounced ridging along the sizes and this the size is much bigger the shapes are all relatively the same but the size of them are much bigger and a trembling aspen is usually the smallest one when you go and look at some of these other trees they get really big this could be like your cottonwood this could be like your balsam poplar they get very large around usually most of the other popular species um, love to be in the wet moisture area so along rivers along wetter areas along um, standing water where they can get their roots into that standing water and then they'll grow very large the diameters will be huge they can be very tall yet relatively young aspen are much shorter uh, they don't grow quite as tall their leaves are smarter smaller and they're not quite as waxy it's hard to see this and maybe we'll zoom in on my hands in a second but some of these leaves that we're collecting they're much more waxy on the balsam uh, darker greens usually a little bit more waxy and there is a fragrance on some of these bud tips especially if you're looking in the spring there's some um, a waxy kind of gum around some of the bud tips and they have that really distinct balsam smell to them a, a, a kind of quite different I think from uh, from trembling aspen and here on this case we have on the right side the trembling aspen much smaller there is some kind of uh, tooth to the edge of the leaf, but not as prominent as in this case the balsam, which is a bit bigger, shinier, um, has a much more pronounced uh, edges on this uh, left side. So here we can see again that trembling aspen on the extreme right, the smallest of the leaves. If you look really close, they are still toothed, 
but when you move up to like a balsam poplar, the twos get bigger, the waxiness gets green. Here's a hybrid poplar. You can see again, it's that same kind of toothed edge to it, but the size of the leaves can get really big. Hybrid poplars are many species. They easily cross between the poplars, and you uh, see them growing very big, very fast, um, huge trees sometimes with this kind of just shaped leaf and that same kind of whitish smooth bark but generally in the hybrids and the balsams they cross them with what's called black poplar or the balsam poplar whereas the trembling aspen is white poplar and when they cross it with the dark poplar to get that fast growth the bark itself is very un uh, furled at the base and much darker and that's where that black poplar comes from as you can move higher up the tree you'll see more and more of the whitish bark that's you might uh, mistake for trembling aspen but the size of any of these hybrids or black poplars the balsam poplars will be much bigger usually in diameter than the uh, than the trembling aspen